brought home, they served in Iraq, and they were brought home today, and they got home tomorrow. How soon is it before they get into the VA system? Are they asked to become, do they, do they go through a process when they come out of the military that suggests to them to, to connect with the VA? So I've been out for 15 years. I was already in the VA system, so for me it was actually easy. I took my medical records down, they made a copy, boom, everything started. It still took time. Uh, my understanding is, is now that when you process out, uh, part of, there, there's a whole list of things that you have to do. The military's good at checklists. Yes, you need to go talk to the first sergeant. Okay, did that. Oh God, no, I am not re-enlisting. You know, but then you also do finance and payroll, but they, now they're doing where the BFW, the DAB and uh, other organizations are uh, talking about all the different services that are there. VA reps, my understanding, are also there to say, this is what you have, they're talking about you know the disability but also both rehab GI bill how your GI bill works and stuff so now you now they're doing it now they're basically uh, trying to get you to get into the system before you're ever actually out of the military so they've decided to become more proactive in they're now stuff. they're being more proactive uh, which is really good uh, uh, you know uh, if you're active duty, your family's there, uh, from what I understand, some of the bases have where the family's involved in this too. Um, uh, National Guard, not sure when a unit comes back and deactivates, because I'm still in the military, but I'm not. Um, one weekend a month I gotta go out and play, but the rest of the time I'm, I'm back to being a civilian. And I look forward to Drill Weekend because now I'm back in my, I'm back in my comfort zone. I'm back in my safe zone. Uh, and they, there's a, a lot of things that are going on. Uh, State of Idaho, uh, the chaplains uh, do once a year or twice a year, I'm not really sure, they do a marriage weekend. So basically they bring in soldiers and their spouses and they put them up at a hotel. My wife and I did this when I came back. And we went to a hotel, they paid for it, and we stayed there for two days. And we went through different programs to how to reintegrate. Um, I think it was like three months after we got back that that happened for us, but now it's on a real regular basis, and it works. Uh, even if you're not religious uh, or of the religion that the chaplains there's a lot of things that they're talking about so we're getting there we're 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 starting to get uh where the important thing is is that the family and the soldier are one mm -hmm. right you don't just work on the soldier the family's got to know what to do too the va's doing this too there's a lot more uh where uh you meet with the psychologist or the social worker and then at, at a certain point they say well I'd like you to bring your wife or your husband in uh, or your significant other it doesn't matter you know a family member uh, and you can hear in a safe environment what your family's fears and what they see that you don't that you don't notice because it's you you know, you're not looking in a camera going, yes, okay, I've been an asshole for four weeks now, you know, but that's what they're seeing. And, but they're afraid to approach you because you go all ballistic. But now you can be in a safe environment where you can hear what they're saying and then the social worker or the psychiatrist can work with both of you on them how to talk to you about their fears and they and you can talk to them about your fears because you you don't want to talk about it because you don't want to be weak in front of your wife or i think also i think and i'm just going to 
I think anybody that has some mental health challenges, you might not be, I know in my own journey, I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware. And then as I became more aware, um, then, and, and saw things, what do I bring to the table? How is this behavior? Why am I using this behavior? Is it really working for me? Um, I, I think it's a good, good move to bring the family and the person that's getting counseled together because there is a, there's an area that people don't want to talk about. There's an area that people might not know how to approach, but I think it's a good thing to approach because then it allows, like you say, a safe place for people to understand each other a little bit better. Yeah. Okay.